something, something different. There's something different about the uh, podcast today, mate. You're right. There is. There is something different. I can't quite pin it. Haircut. It is the haircut. It is the haircut. You're right. But I feel like there's something, something else. Like, like less baggage or something. Less weight on our shoulders. Yeah, I'm feeling like there's something less and I'm liking it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't... Something feels more structured. I don't know. Weird. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the TS Podcast. This is episode eight and we appreciate you joining us. Uh, you might notice that the setup's a little bit different for the viewers, actually. I mean, uh, there's something missing, as we spoke about in the intro, Blake. Do you know what's missing? Yeah, we're, we're lacking uh, one lazy cunt. <laughs> there's one guy that ain't here. He's usually here, but he, he didn't make the cut this week. Yeah, we've actually fired him. Yeah, me and, me and Blake have made the executive decision that the Tea House podcast is now down to two members. Yep. He doesn't know this. Uh, he's going to watch this episode and find out. You can put in your CVs if you like. Jay, when you watch this, loves and prayers to you, mate. You've done well, but we'll take the reins from here. Yeah, mate. <laughs> A combination of uh, three words between six episodes is not good enough, we thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just joking, Jay. We love you, mate. We love you. Um, but I wanted to quickly talk about, uh, you know, I was, I was, I'm, I'm the type of guy I always want to grow my hair out, right? I always want to, I always get it in my head. I'm like, I'm growing my hair out this time. This is the time. I've done this multiple, like, I don't even have enough fingers on my hands to count, right? I, I can also uh, vouch for that. And some of those haircuts have been more than ordinary, but we'll continue. Go questionable, on. questionable. So, um, yeah, I was like, uh, I was sitting at work and I was like, fuck. It. I get to this stage and I'm like, nah, I'm giving up. I'm giving up. So I was like, I even told my hairdresser, Josh, he's a big teabagger. He'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, what can I do to punish myself? What can I do? And I'm going to give the viewers a little bit of a, a little bit of a look at what I got. And you guys can be the judge. Blake, can you review this? Dusty. Chest push. The flag. No. Hope you enjoyed that. But it's actually quite funny. I was like, <laughs> I um, I w- I showed the hairdresser Josh this photo of exactly what I wanted because <coughs> I feel like it's a lot easier for him to be like, all right, you know, I know exactly what you want. Showed him a photo, and he's like, started laughing. I was like, oh what? He's like, oh yeah, we uh, do you know what they called it? What? They called it the the mud flap. The mud flap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I feel like I've heard that before, actually. Have you actually? Yeah, no, I have. They have two names for it. So the other name is the beaver tail. The beaver <laughs> tail. <laughs> you know what it looks like? What? It looks like every T-shirt sold at Edge. Yes. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> the dovetail. Is that what it's called? The parrot tail? Oh, is that the one where like it's like... <laughs> it do- drops to the bottom? Oh, that is the worst the back? thing. That's like what tuxedos do, don't they? Yeah. Is it tuxedos? I don't know what. It looks not good. No, actually... you. Know, the store we have in Bendigo is it? What's the one in Bendigo we have? Is it Edge? Yeah, there's one in it, and it sells exclusive Kiss Chasey. Yeah. So, <laughs> one pet hate I have had about that store is the jeans they sell, and there's a lot of tea baggers out there, and I don't want to offend you, but the the jeans with the the frills on the knees, I don't know, <laughs> they don't look good. Uh, I'm telling you, Blake, yeah. do you reckon they look good? Blake actually wears them. He's a big fan of them ones. I don't wear them. <laughs> Do you and like them? Hey, no, I actually don't. And if they've got cuffs on them as well, which 90% of them do, <laughs> they belong with one of those dovetail t-shirts we are just talking about. Yeah. <laughs> in the fucking store. Actually, no, in the box, can't, not even open. <laughs> That's where they belong. That's literally, they come in a kit, the dovetail t-shirt and the frilled jeans. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kit is. <laughs> you buy one, you get one of the other ones free. This is what it is. Oh, it's so good. Uh, uh, but nah, it's actually, I actually like it. Uh, really, I don't know. I'll probably... I get in that weird stage where I'm like, I change hairstyles. Whoever's known me, I fucking go through hairstyles. Like, like how many hairstyles have I gone through in my time? Like, fuck ton. I don't know, a couple. Like, there's probably five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like you got it though. You can't keep it forever. Yeah, I get really bored and I'm like, what What can I do different? And like, I'm at the stage of my life where I don't give a fuck. Like, what? I probably look like a fuckwit. Yep. Always. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, thanks. You do. You do. Appreciate it. <laughs> <you. laughs> really having some backup, man. Like, nah, you look good all nah, the time. You're, you're hot, brother. Yeah, you're, you're sick. You yeah. pulled that haircut off, bro. You look yeah, fit. I sort of wish I was still rocking the old Muzz short stack days. You know what I'm talking about? 
Um, I feel like I never really got it looking quite short stacky though, even back in them days. I feel like I just had like that real wet gel look, you know what I mean? Like it didn't even look good. You know how they had like the hair spraying and the fucking... Dude, like the I don't think you understand. Like I fucking wanted that. I fucking Bro, that's what I'm bro. telling you right now. I wanted that haircut. I'm just saying I tried it. It didn't... Ro- it wasn't rocking. Mate, I was always... I like had an emo fringe down my fucking shoulders and I tried to do the short stack. Do you know how much fucking wax I had to put in that? It still didn't work. I oh, know. I look fucked. By the way, what are they buying? Let me know. And are they using like a can of hairspray? Like every time. I actually think they do. I actually think they use like a can of hairspray. They must. Fuck, that would be bad for your hair. I'm going to have to ask Josh. Short stack are definitely bald now. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask Josh when I go back in for the next haircut. Bring back short stack haircuts. 2021. 2021? Yeah. Uh, no, but I think it's about time. We stop talking about our haircuts. So weird. And uh, get into our first. <laughs> first fucking... First segment of <coughs> the week. Um, this is actually controversial, and if you haven't seen it in the media, you've probably been living under a bit of a rock, but it's actually... It's been around for a very long time, um, and it is the controversy between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And it's a very... It is controversial, isn't it? Because there's two... Massively. So- it's, a mass- it's, a, it, it's one of them stories that... It's one of them stories that you can't even... It's it's hard to take aside because, like, no one really knows. Knows you know the full proof. And, like, as much as I want to read every single detail and every single court appearance and whatnot, I really don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. But... For the, wait, wait. Bef- before we start, for those who don't know, and you probably do know, but for those who don't know... What this is between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is, uh, you know, they met in 2009 on set of one of their movies and in 2015, they got married. And only a year later, Amber Heard filed for a divorce. And in this divorce, she claimed, you know, uh, what was it? Uh, what, what's the abuse thing called? The domestic abuse. Domestic uh, yeah. yeah, filed for domestic abuse uh, in only 2016. And it's, it's fucking been... I've seen this, like... In and out for like years. This has been going on for that long. At the start, it was just, I feel like everyone was just talking about how Johnny Depp was an abuser and all this stuff. And 100%. And how he had like, did you see how he had like apparently multiple personalities and stuff like that? Yeah, 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 definitely. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, there was so much shit against Johnny Depp, you know, that he'd hit her, all this stuff. And now it's funny because it's starting to come out that Amber Heard was actually talking a whole lot of shit. Yeah, she was. And also there's like proven, like it was proven that also she was abusive as well. Like even if apparently like an, an instigator of most, not I'm not going to say all because I'm not retarded, but it, most of like the hectic arguments and stuff, I'm sure he, I'm sure he done a bit. Oh yeah. As well. And that's what I mean. We're not here to be like, you know, Amber Heard's talking shit and she made everything up. But the funny thing is, is the stuff that she has said about all this abuse is has actually been proven. I think I think I think it speaks volumes and it's it's a bit dodgy the way she's come about it and stuff. And it's clear that at the start I think he was protecting her a lot because he was obviously saying like even with like the um the incident where apparently he like she cut his finger off and stuff because of um she like cut his finger off and stuff because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. she threw a bottle so, at him. So me and Blake were like, what What actually happened? Because we, we both heard about like some fucking finger severing. Uh, we both thought that she bit his fucking finger off. But <laughs> what actually happened is apparently she threw a vodka bottle and somehow it fucking severed his finger or some shit. Yeah, it's, and crushed his finger. Crushed yeah, the crushed bone, his bone, crushed the bone severed the top of his finger off and shit. Yeah, which is weird shit. Wild. Yeah, that's pretty hectic, isn't it? Imagine that. And he was, uh, you know, and then she, because it was like a huge thing, like, nah, because apparently he ripped the phone off the wall and was like, Funk, you know, it's gone crazy. Yeah. But, you know, apparently it was the vodka bottle getting thrown. And that's like where we talking about, like, how the fuck, how do you know? It's like, it's like he said, she said. 100%, 100%. But the thing, the thing that the most like thing that gets me about it mainly is the fact that he was basically had his character ripped to shreds, like basically got fired from the Pirates of the Caribbean, taken off. Well, now he's off um, the Fantastic Beasts. He's just resigned from that, I think. Yeah, so just recently that actually happened. <laughs> and that's where, like, everything's blowing up again. So and he was... Did you know a million people signed a petition? Yeah. 
a million yeah, so funny. to get him on Femme Pat. But in a way, like, he is a ridiculously incredible actor. And if it's just one of those things where they were just in an abusive relationship and they were just toxic with each other, it's pretty sad that his career is ruined and she's and hers isn't in the fact that she's still going to Aquaman. But I think out of public opinion, a lot of people are sort of t- pointing towards Johnny Depp's sort of side now, I think. Even a lot of celebrities have sort of come out yeah. against her and stuff, like Sia, for one of them, yep. was like saying clearly Johnny Depp was the vic- victim. Per- oh, she said victim. Yeah. But like... Yeah, so Warner Brothers had just like posted a thing. It was like, so Johnny Depp was asked to resign and he graciously accepted the resign. And this caused huge controversy again because people were like, if Johnny Depp is resigning from Fantastic Beasts, we want Amber Heard to resign from Aquaman 2. Which is a fair bump, mind you, fair bump. Completely fair enough. And like, you know, Amber Heard is copying... Like, there's literally an internet trend right now. Like, people making absolute memes about, like, how she should resign and all this shit, which is fucking classic, I reckon, because... Which is fair enough, though. I mean... But, in all fairness, does she not look like a sociopath? Yeah. Like, to be honest, I've always had a crush on her, though, ever since Never Back Down. Ooh. Oh, I did not know... I forgot that she was in that movie. That is so true. Yeah, true. But, in saying that, I, you know what I mean? She's got the... No, I'm just joking. You can tell, man. You can tell. I knew back then. I was like, she's going to get with someone and ruin their life. <laughs> I was right. J- JD, he fucking took the fall. Don't meet your heroes, kids. No, <laughs> yeah. no, but it's a pretty fucked up situation, eh? Yeah, it's wild. <clears throat> it's like, when it, it's like what, are, what do you do as well? Like, you just sort of like wait for it all to play out. But the thing as well is, um, like Johnny Depp tried to sue the son in the UK for releasing it, um, releasing the... Had like the what do you call it sorry um like really? the the headline you know you know what i'm saying the oh yeah just like released a fucking saying johnny depp abuses yeah or something. i called him a wife abuser and all this stuff like a misconception and headline or something yeah, yeah and like then he's tried to sue them for defamation and has lost because everyone knows you can't fucking sue the mainstream media <laughs> don't know how you can't but they can just fucking sprout whatever bullshit they want apparently yeah. And, and get away with it. But. Yeah, it's a mad stitch up because it actually has like severely damaged his career. Like how many movies can you say you've seen? Johnny Massively, Depp? but it, if you're like going to look on the bright side of it also, it also shows like how much support and love he actually does have. Yeah, bloody oath. Bloody oath actually. That's just being optimistic. Yeah, but no, it's uh, to shed some light on that. We want to know the teabaggers' opinions on that because it's a bit of a... Yeah. Bit of a 50 50 thing. Divide right? us too. Give us facts on both sides. Help us out. Yeah. We're very uneducated on the tea here. So. <laughs> <We're> so <dumb>. <laughs> <laughs> we just spit fake knowledge at you. Yeah. Like half knowledge. Sometimes we sound smart, but then like. <laughs> yeah. We get a lot of comments on how intelligent we are. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll just stick it at that. Couple of brainiacs here, man. Yeah. Whatever you guys hear on the tea house, it's fucking facts. <laughs> All right. Everything. And if it wasn't before the tea house, it is now. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. We made it a fucking fact, bish. Everything else is fake news. <laughs> tea house is where you get your fucking news from now, right? 100%. Yeah. You get the weather from us. <laughs> For fucking hot tomorrow, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I think we wanted to talk about that. We wanted to start off things about that. And then we kind of wanted to lead on to more of a, a topic that kind of gets us both a little... I don't know, we find it kind of funny, I would say. I would say we kind of find it funny out of everything, wouldn't you say? I find it funny. Yeah, It is a bit of a funny thing. Before we get into this segment, I just want to clarify... That Mate, put a, tr- put a trigger warning, put a trigger warning. Yeah, I'm going to put... Controversial. Like a, yeah, how there's like, what do they do? The uh, spoiler warning? Yeah, so instead of spoiler warning, trigger warning, so... Uh, and mind you, we also did just talk about how dumb we were, so... Yeah, exactly. Don't hold us for fucking accountable. Don't believe everything you hear. Ignorance is bliss. We're just a couple of dummies talking shit. Exactly, man. Exactly. So the segment is, the segment is, we want to talk a little bit about, I would say feminism. I'm just going to title it feminism for now, for now. So before we start this chat, I just wanted to say that me and Blake, Blake, uh, we won't even be talking about feminism really though. No, not really. But I just wanted to start off like this. We are feminists. We do support 
women equality. I just want to I just want to put that out there before e- we say anything. Equality dumb. in general. Equality, in, yeah, equality in general, because we're probably going to say something dumb, maybe. So don't call us out. We love you. And in this world, you can't say anything without offending someone. So yeah. Give give us a bit of give us a bit of leniency here, all right? Yeah. So now in this segment, I just wanted to like talk about because I'm the type of person, right? So, like I said before, fully support feminism, equality, love that stuff, girl power and shit. Um, but a lot of the time, so I follow some people, right? And I see a lot of people, girls specifically, uh, posting posting things about uh, feminism and stuff, and like supporting girls and all that stuff, and that's awesome for off that stuff. Um, but then every now and then I see, I'm going to label it as a feminazi. Is that Femi- fair? Feminazi, men badger. Men badger. I would say feminazi is a fair word. And uh, for an example, uh, we see a subject and, you know, it's a bit it's a bit like, oh, how are you going? And then they'll screenshot a guy replying to their opinion. And, you know, the the guy's opinion is like completely fair. It's not even like... You're talking shit, blah, 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 like against them. They're They're saying a different opinion. Yeah, they'll just put in their own different opinion, which is like completely fair enough, you know, free speech, all that. And the girl will screenshot it, post it on their Instagram story and be like, how's this dickhead or something like, what a, like, what a, what an idiot, like about like just not going against, uh, going with their saying. And like, I reckon it is classic. I reckon it's so funny. So I, this is pretty bad, but I follow a lot of like, girls like this and i love seeing the shit they post because i reckon it's so funny it's hectic but at the same time you know you can't reason with them yeah so i think that's like half of what it is so like guys will like just like put in their opinion about something and be like blah 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 like this is like a different point of view and then they'll like use it as like oh, what would you say ammunition yeah 100 and like, take and take like certain words yeah like <clears throat> like you could be saying something and meaning something else and they point they pick something out of it and then change it and first thing you're starting you're starting you're having a conversation about the wage gap and next minute you're having a conversation about fucking how the end of the world men taking <laughs> over yeah <laughs> you know? how, how women are so much treated way worse than men and stuff which is one of those things i struggle to agree with like I know, <clears throat> and it sucks too, because like at the at the end of the day, people <clears throat> this is people only see problems that affect them. So men are going to see more problems that affect men. Women are going to see more problems that will affect them. Friggin' etc. 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 It's just like, and that's why a lot of the time when people say, "Oh, women have it worse, men have it worse," because of these reasons. Like for for example, for example, <coughs> when like like people are like I remember literally watching the Today Show, and they were debating the the, the wage gap and stuff, and they literally you literally literally used a male electrician and a female childcare worker as like differences in money, and it's like okay, well that's a bit hectic. As in like their yearly wages. Yep. And like, what were they saying that like a male sparky earns a lot more? Yeah. Like they're basically like comparing the wages and saying stuff like that. Like, honestly, like if, if they're in the same position, this like the same, the exact same position at work and they're the same competency, they do all the same stuff, then they definitely should be paid the same. Yeah. But people don't also realize we, it, a lot of works are competency based or it goes off qualifications and stuff like that. And a lot of women also don't work and get pregnant and take a bit of time off work where a lot of men strictly focus on their careers to try and support babies, blah, 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 blah. And uh, no, not all, not all. Don't even try and twist my words. (laughs) Not all. (laughs) No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So like, and it's just like subjects like that that I feel like they just keep twisting on you without listening to the conversation. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's like sometimes like this is just sometimes, sometimes not all the time, but like sometimes their opinions, like I feel like they get really invested in their, in their opinions and stuff, but they don't think about 
certain other aspects like contributing factors yeah like i completely agree with you and i think you know if you're if there's two fully qualified electricians you for example and a female Mm -hmm. you guys should be on the exact same wage depending on competency yeah if you guys do the exact same work the exact same blah 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 all this stuff same position 100 percent, the exact same wage yeah i completely agree 100 percent, 100 percent. but at the same time if men if Women are sitting there complaining about, but also I think a lot of that is, to be honest, the media blowing up sort of certain things and putting ideas in people's heads and stuff. Yeah. Because, like, they always talking about it, this and that, this and that. But it's like, there's always and there's always going to be rebuttals. It, that's like, like yes, there are statistics, but they're not taking all things into into account. I don't believe, mm. and that's just like an example too of like. Where, where these conversations will end up going and if you just can't be bothered fighting those battles, they go on for a long time. Yeah. I think there's, there's, there's definitely always an argument there, but I just want to go back to the feminazis. Yeah. <laughs> so personally, I think that when, when that stuff happens, like back what I was talking about before, that when they call out certain people... Um, sometimes it's not even guys they call out. Sometimes they'll call out other girls and stuff. Like it's not always men that are opposing these opinions at all. Um, I feel personally when I see these myself, I reckon it has the complete opposite effect of the of the subject that they're talking about. I I, I, I see what they're saying. And creates like, division. Yeah, it creates division. And like, you know, like I said, I don't know anyone that isn't for equality. Like I've never... I can't think. No one. I don't think I've ever met anyone at this, like in our generation, that is like, nah, men above women or something, or women above men. You know what I mean? It's, I think equality is so huge in our generation. Obviously, there are differences and stuff, but you know what I mean. When when this stuff happens and it's like turning into like bashing men for certain reasons yep. that maybe happened in a generation or two generations before us, it has the negative effect where. You look at it and you're like, I don't really agree with what she's saying at all. Yep. Do you know what I mean? And that, yeah. that's that's my opinion. I mean, that's how I look at it. Like, and no. like, don't worry, it doesn't change my opinion. I'm like, oh, I'm not supporting women. It's just, it's just that certain subject. You know what I mean? That whatever they're talking, or or it's not even that subject that they're talking. It's just like what they do. So I don't really take notice of them anymore. <laughs> we are so tiptoeing around this subject. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you can't notice, we're a bit sus on what we say yeah we're sort of scared i was anyway yeah no we hope we hope it kind of like relates in a way to not everyone but just some people and like personally i want to know you i don't really talk to that many people about this subject i reckon it's a very curious subject it's a bit you know i want to know what you guys think like do you guys think this is the same effect i don't know if it's just me that has this kind of you know different opinion yep or you know because it's i'm not trying to start feuds or fights or anything we just wanted to chat about what kind of we thought about it but I think that as like human nature is like once you're like with anything, I guess, once you get something in your head and, and you completely agree with that, it's very hard. It's very hard to change your mind about it. It's hard to shake an idea. Yeah, 100%. percent well, Especially if you've got like a sort of belief system set on something on like a certain way. Exactly. And for, to be fair, for women in general, it's a, ve- it's a very passionate subject. Uh, yeah. I think feminism is... It's what would you say? It's like a it's a current revolution. <laughs> Bless you. Oh. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I do think there are things that like, like for for example, like the the gag law in Australia. Like I think that's rubbish. What's that? It's like the um where, like rape victims can't talk about. Oh yeah, that's fucked up. I completely agree with that. And like I heard and that and, like, and like, like things like that, I know would absolutely drive and like that drives me crazy. Like stuff yeah. like that, like. Mm. But wait, before you continue on that, I think so. Yeah, I'm with you. That's fucked up. But like, I think this is what annoys me actually a mm. lot about these type of like things that girls don't think. I I think they don't think that it annoys guys like that. Yeah. But it actually does. Like we see it and we're like, that's fucked up. Like Keely told me about this, and I was like, that is the most fucked thing I've ever heard. Like why? What is the reason? Is that protect their identity? Like, well, that uh, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to say because I can. I can see because the thing is, men and 
men and women lie numbers don't um <laughs> no but um but the, the point that the only people that would i can see personally helping instead of not helping is the ones where um crazy people lie about someone sexually assaulting them when they didn't oh okay in those situations yeah. as in like yeah like an innocent guy being accused of rape and is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, just like stuff like that. That's like okay. the only sort of situations I can see it sort of helping. Yeah. But yeah, I do agree it's fucked Which up. Which is, I get it, like <laughs> everyone like sc- s- like shouting, like it's prote- protecting the, like the, the man, the male perpetrator or what, whatever, you, whatever you think. Oh, but um, A bit burpy, mate. I'm a bit gassy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I completely agree. He's definitely fucked up and... Com- like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not against anything. I and I think everyone needs to know that because I feel like yeah, it does get a little bit. I I think women are a lot more vocal in their opinions more than men, and I think that's the effect. Because like I don't post a lot about that stuff, but I probably should. I mean, like I don't know. I post heaps of shit, but it's pure nonsense ninety percent of the time. Yeah, like I think that's probably like some of it where like. A lot of everyone you'll speak to, like men, they'll completely agree with everything that you say. A lot of a lot of it. And some don't. And some don't, yeah. But I guess that's the same both ways. I mean, no matter how you look at it, there's always that both contradicting each other. No matter no matter what it is, there is always something that someone ain't happy with, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No always. matter what it is, no matter how good it is. Ever. Ever. Does that about wrap it up for this uh, controversial topic or do you want to keep going? Yeah, I just want to say one last thing. <laughs> they usually have Karen haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings me on to my next segment <clears throat> on what's bothering Blake. <laughs> I'm serious too. Glad we're here. Glad we're on what's bothering Blake. We've got here. Glad to be here. We've got here. That was a bit of a roller coaster. Now, th- now I look back, I was like... I was trying to be so politically correct. I felt like I was just going all over the shop. Yeah. I feel, I feel like I didn't really say it. Yeah, the viewers are probably going to be like, what the fuck are these blokes talking about? <laughs> like, that was rubbish, boys. Come on. Yeah. Nah. We tried. And to be fair, we're here now. We can't We can't change it. <laughs> yeah. No, you want to hear something actually really funny before we continue? So do you know who Joji is? Like, yeah. Yeah, the musician. He was on a podcast, right? And he was like in the background and it was like a video podcast. And the the main host was like talking to this bloke in like interviewing and he, they were talking about like the male race. Right. Yeah. And it's funny. as It's not funny, but it was funny. Like the video was funny. So they're talking about how he asked the dude he was interviewing. He's like, don't you think, cause they were talking about like, they must've been talking about like rape and stuff. It was bad stuff anyway. And he's like, don't you think that it's like hardwired programmed into like the male sex from like cavemen that they just want to dominate women. <laughs> um, it's, it, it's funny you say that No but in all seriousness It's funny that you say that It's because a lot of animals Actually don't have consensual sex True Yeah Except for birds When they dance with each other They love it Mate Have you You should see chicken sex mate <laughs> The rooster just grabs the thing By the back of its head What? Mate It's a, it, It's all done and dusted In about five seconds But It's That's pure fine. Not consensual <laughs> I've actually never thought about animal non-consensual sex. I can guarantee, um, T House Podcast. Remember, I'm going to clip this. Ten years from now, people are going to start complaining about consensual animal sex. That's going to be a thing. That's going to be big in the media. I'm calling it right now. 2020, 2030, 2040 when it comes out. Boycott all roosters. Yep. Separate the roosters from the ch- the hens. <laughs> 2030. Uh, <laughs> no, but yeah, sure. that's that's pretty funny. What I. Uh, Anyway, anyway, let's. We're, we're at what's bothering Blake now. What's bothering Blake this week? What is bothering Blake this week? And as I say, our favorite segment of the week each week. Blake, so what's bothering you, my friend? Not much. Scratch CD. Um. So. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, um, what's bothering me is I had a earlier uh, last week. I'll say I may have created a little bit of a disagreement on a status that I posted <laughs> and it had the status was about um what was it about horse racing 
No, it wasn't though. No. Oh, it was. Oh, it was saying and products. Oh, it was a joke about um all the well, it said girls on it, so I'll say girls. Fuck it. It said <laughs> all all the uh, it was like some. It said something like, I'll, "Do you want me to explain it for you?" So it was about. So we currently had horse racing here, and it said. Funny how, and obviously there's a lot of controversy controversy about horse racing and how it kills horses. All right, so I'll literally read it for you. Yes. Fun fact, makeup brands kill more animals by testing on them than horses die through racing. But we won't talk about that, will we, girls? <laughs> and because of that girls bit at the bottom, I got a little bit of backlash <laughs> saying that it was, had candidate count, it was had bad it had bad <laughs> tones towards women all right so and uh, i think we're getting a bit soft if that's how people are going to take shit like i know, so you, I know so we, you literally, we literally just tiptoed around that subject but the the fact the fact of the matter is when things are a joke and it actually was directed at a certain group of girls that do do that but it's perfectly fine for girls to sit there and pick on like chads and stuff for like I'm a chad. Yeah. You're the biggest chad I've ever met. Thank you. For like like or like make joke and <laughs> and the thing is I laugh at jokes about boys too. If the stereotype's gold and I say it, classic, I'm laughing, good times. And it was just a classic one. I did see heaps of heaps of girls commenting out out of nowhere that probably were just jumping on the craze. Some of them probably weren't. Who cares? It's a joke. That's the point. It's funny. And honestly, a lot of a lot of the funniest jokes are stereotype based jokes. Because otherwise, what do you find funny? What do you find funny? The chicken the chicken walks across the road. And to be fair, I've got a, a darker than average humor anyway. So the shit I actually do hysterically laugh at, I would never tell any of you guys <laughs> ever. So So would you say that so you you only posted the you he shared I only shared shared that. the post for a, for no, a joke no caption yeah just a just a classic thing you see and you're like this is pretty funny I'm gonna share this on my page yep I'm just gonna and we were actually filming our last podcast of Lucy and next minute my phone was blowing up <laughs> one of those classic Facebook fights and there was a bit of a, a scorching on the on the status I have to admit yeah soz <laughs> no nah, but we are current like we are going through they were pretty funny though. They were funny. I have, <laughs> like, we are going through, w- would you say, a generation where... Of soft cunts. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, you you have to be very careful about what you say on the internet these days because there's a lot of people that get offended very easily. Yeah, and it's getting, uh, no, and it actually it's getting out of hand. I'll tell you why it's getting out of hand. Because <coughs> it's getting... <laughs> It's get it, it's getting out of hand. Why, why is it getting out of hand? Because <laughs> it starts here, right? So what? Pe- imagine what people found offensive twenty years ago compared to now. Ma- a grave difference. But now we're we're at the stage where people want to be offended. I feel. I feel. I feel like a lot of people choose to be offended these days. When like, for example, if I seen like a a status or a girl being a man badger or anything like that, I'd probably be like classic. Or if they blah, 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 said like a funny joke. No, I've got a good example for one. I'd be like gold <coughs> and scroll on with my day, forget about it. I wouldn't comment on their status. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a very good example. When you see on Facebook, you know, which is really good actually, like you'll see like some hero moment, like, I don't know, some bloke saving something or some shit. Or, and then like someone will comment on the video and be like, why were you filming and not helping? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. shit like that where yeah. it's like... <laughs> Bro, like it's a it's a nice video to see. Yeah, spreading positivity, and then there's like, it's just that one person. And and don't don't get me wrong. And you, <laughs> actually, you know, you, and you know what? Back on the uh, other subject, you, you know what's uh, the wh- white knights annoy me too. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. AKA Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Sims are awesome. I fucking love Sims. They're that good. They and, are a classic. <laughs> when when chicks write statuses or share something about men, and they're like. Not all, man. <laughs> you just Bro, haven't found just the go, right one. Just chill, man. Go home. Yeah. Obviously not all men. Legend. And that's the point. Obviously not all men. Obviously. 
they might even the girl might have thought it, but obviously not all men, mm. and obviously not all women when I share stuff. But it's fucking funny. It is funny, but because we are living in such a tender age, I would like to call that. We're living in a bit of a tender age right these days, and uh, okay. we were talking a little bit before before we uh, went live on the on the episode, and it we thought that like. It, it would affect comedians a fair bit because for those who watch stand-up com- comedy, all they do is insult people, bring up controversial topics about religion, race, religion, sexism, anything you, you can think of. Name it. They will just bring it up for a, an absolute laugh. And personally, I mean, I reckon the harsher the better. Ninety percent of the time, it's funny. I'll like, be honest with you. If I was the worse, it is the more of a shock factor I get from it, the more I react. I mean, I would specifically go to a stand-up comedy and fucking get a seat at the front so they can roast me. The more offended I get, I actually find it funny. Yeah, it's funny. If they specifically pointed out me, the type of person I am, I'd be like, huh, that's funny. I hate myself. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> but no, I completely agree. And uh, yeah, we talked about how, because Blake has seen the Dave Chappelle stand-up com- comedy. Sticks and stones. Sticks and stones, which is... um has also been praised as the savior of uh comedy in these in these tender times as of kevin hart said on the joe rogan podcast as well mm. but it's actually true like that that literally went for everything sex is sexist jokes <laughs> transgender jokes everything mate racist joke you name it it was all there people thought it was funny people sucked people sucked fuck them you know, like you don't Energies don't mix sometimes, you know. And like, if you want to be a, if you want to be a friggin' a hectic, fem Nazi or something like that that cracks it over the littlest thing, go hang out with the rest of them. Mm. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. I think they're like all in there. They all love each other. No, they do. They all like support each other in like a weird fem Nazi little circle. As thing. they should. As they should. As Suppo- they should. Support your clique, girls. Support your clique. Exactly. And like I said, I'm not against it. I don't hate feminazis. I find it funny. <laughs> I love it. Just like I find everything else funny. Yeah, I was telling Blake before, I follow these people to like specifically see what they post for a fucking laugh. Sometimes like, they annoy me, but then like you, know, you just like, Sometimes it's like frustrated. Uh, you're like, why are you doing this? But like sometimes I'm like, this is fucking comedy gold. Like I don't even care what you're talking about, but like uh, what you. And I'd probably annoy you too. And that's why we don't hang out. <laughs> yeah. Difference of opinions, I guess. I mean, some people are all for it. I don't spend that much time about it. I mean. Oh, what a way to live your life. I honestly. feel like if you put too much time into that stuff, you kind of just. You put yourself in that bubble, I reckon. That's actually a good. You know, you know them people that just like comment on everything on Facebook. Do you reckon they just like don't have much of like. Boredom. Sp- Maybe yeah. something just really ticked them. It was just like. Yeah, like they just sit at home and they're like, fuck. Just scrolling through Facebook like eight hours a day. You know how you get that Sunday notification? It's like, you spent five hours on social media this week. Theirs was like 23. Yep, yep, yep. (laughs) 18 on Facebook. Stay at home, Karen's. It's fucking funny. Dead set. And Chad stayed home. (laughs) Is that about all we wanted to talk about this episode, I think? Yeah, sorry we scraped through, kids. Yeah, no, we uh, are... We've been busy. Lincoln's been moving. Yeah, I've been moving and it's been a long process and I'm I'm tired. I'm a tired man. I'm tired. We're all tired. Uh, you know, Jay's not part of the podcast anymore. <laughs> um, but no, I hope, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think it was a bit controversial, maybe. I think, I just think we... I, I think we tiptoed I, a little bit. We're a bit scared. Yeah, I reckon I'm definitely going to go a bit more all out next time I talk about something more controversial. Mm. No, nah, but we hope you can actually relate. The main the main reason we want to talk about these things is because they're, I reckon, I want to know other people's opinions. Personally, that's like why I did it. I mean, I love, I love hearing other people's opinions on stuff. I reckon it's that good. So if you're a tea bagger, and we know you are, comment and tell us what you really think. Um, but I think that about wraps us up for episode eight. Fuck, episode eight. We've actually come a long way, haven't we? Start at the bottom now. We hear people say. Still at the bottom, baby. Still at the bottom, but there's only uphill from here, boys. Uphill from here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, we could be cancelled after this one. <laughs> yeah, most likely. <laughs> Cancel culture, it's a thing. We're fucking done. 
Uh, but no, I think that about wraps us up, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much for joining us tonight. And we hope to see you next week. And bear with us. Bear, bear with us. us. Always bear with us. You know how to bear with us. You're used to it by now. I reckon they're used to it by now. Surely. They've been through a lot. Eight Surely. episodes. Surely. Surely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good night. We love you. Uh, take care. We hope we didn't offend you. Uh, love you so much. And if good we night. did, <laughs> I don't know.